Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform simple linear regression model in R Studio and how to interpret the result. You can also find our videos on SPSS, R Studio, Econometrics, and Economics on our YouTube channel. Links are given in the description, so don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin with the idea of simple linear regression model. We use the simple linear regression model to know the effect of independent variable on our dependent variable. So we have only two variables. See this data that we are going to use for uh, this video. So I have the data on consumption expenditure and income. So we know that consumption expenditure depends on income. So consumption expenditure is our dependent variable and income is our independent variable. And we are interested to know the effect of income on our consumption expenditure. And that is why we are going to use the simple linear regression model. It is also known as bivariate uh, regression model because we have only two variables. So the data is stored as SLRM, simple linear regression model. That is our data set. Now to perform simple linear regression model, LM command is used. You can see on your screen. So model LM. First, we are going to write the dependent variable and then independent variable. So consumption expenditure is our dependent variable and income is our independent variable. Now, what is the data set? Data set is SLRM. Then write model and summary of the model. So select these three commands and run them together. You can see the result in console. So first we are going to uh, examine the coefficients. Here we have the result for coefficients. Now what is the null hypothesis here? The null hypothesis says that your coefficients are equal to zero and constant is equal to zero against the alternative hypothesis of they are significantly different from zero. So you can see the intercept or the constant, the value is 26.60 and associated p-value is 0 0.0433. So it is statistically significant because p-value is less than 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that intercept is significantly different from zero. Let's see coefficient. So what is the value of coefficient? That is beta, it is four, 0 0.48671. Associated p-value is less than 0 0.05. So this is also statistically significant. We reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that it is also significantly different from zero. Now, how to interpret this value? That is 0 0.48671. This says that if income changes by $100, the consumption expenditure will change by $48.67. Here we have the positive relationship because the value of regression coefficient is positive. So if income increases by $100, consumption expenditure will increase by $48.67. And if income increases decreases by $100, the consumption expenditure will decrease by $48.67. So this is how we interpret the regression coefficient or beta. Now see the overall significance of the regression model. To do so, we use ANOVA. So here F statistic is 58.18 and associated p-value is less than 0 0.05. So this is also statistically significant. Now, what is the null hypothesis here for, for ANOVA? It says that our model is not statistically significantly different from the intercept only model. Since we have the 
statistically uh, significant value, we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that our model is statistically significantly different from the intercept only model. So this shows the overall significance of the regression model. And since this p-value is less than 0 0.05, our model is statistically significant. And then we have the value of r square. So it is 0 0.8791. That means 87.9% variation in consumption expenditure is explained by income. So this is the idea of simple linear regression model. You can also find our video on how to perform simple linear regression model in SPSS. The link is given in the description and you can also find the theoretical background of the simple linear regression model on our econometrics playlist. So if you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.